So what's up y'all? Today is the 17th of October 2024. Back at y'all with another video. It's been a while since I made a video. Um I've been pretty good, but uh you know the temperature's been dropping. And this is this is the season. For some of you who don't know, I'm an asthmatic. So you know like between September and November between September to December, I would say, is that's pretty much the month when I gotta really be more careful. Um, you know, I always keep my inhaler with me. I always keep my inhaler on my keys, actually. Um, I have like a little pouch connected to my keys that uh, keeps my, uh, my inhaler in there. I keep my inhaler inside of a pouch connected to my keys. That way I always have my inhaler on me, but usually I only really need it maybe during the the winter time mostly fall and winter sometimes in the spring but majority when it when the temperature gets cold yeah but so the last i say maybe five days i've been waking up with uh waking up pretty much with asthma every morning and kind of sick every morning and this morning has been the worst um i was probably most sick yeah probably today's probably been the worst the, actually the asthma is probably not as bad um, I think my asthma was worse last night than um, this morning because usually it, it flares up like around 5, 6 o'clock. When the temperature drops around 50, that's when it really starts to, it starts to show, you know, the, the breathing symptoms. But today, um, I woke up with, with asthma as well this morning and, um, but also I'm feeling a little bit sick on top of that. Like I got mucus here. I, I can feel like, I think I have a little bit of a temperature. I was burning. I feel I feel slightly dizzy, just slightly off a little bit. Like, you know, I just don't feel very well, you know. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad, you know. It's not the worst, you know. I, I, can, I can be doing worse, I know that for sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to do my best to take care of myself. You know, I have been doing better though, overall. But, still haven't got there. I have been, I have found some ways to make money though. Um, but, still working on trying to get my license back. Actually, I was supposed to get my license, work on work on it last Tuesday. But like I said, um, I've been having like asthma every night and every morning. And I'm still fighting digital eye strain. It's not as bad as it used to though. It's not as bad as it used to. I have been putting more effort into avoiding screen times and whatnot. So, and avoiding screen times really helps. There is one thing I learned though is that digital eye strain, believe it or not, can actually um, it can actually exacerbate asthma because what happens is <clears throat> when your eyes are strained, it can actually produce uh, it can cause like some inflammation behind the eyes, so you start getting mucus behind the eyes that will actually run down into your sinuses and down you know, your, your windpipe and down to your respiratory it cause some issues, you know, with your, with your, with your airways. <clears throat> so, which actually kind of makes sense because I notice that sometimes when I, 
days when I spend a lot of time looking at screens, sometimes I will wake up the next morning with some with a lot of mucus in the, you know, and I'll be cough. You know how you be coughing up that stuff in the morning sometimes. So, but overall, I haven't been too bad. Um, I think I'm, I'm in a situation where all I have to do is just put in more effort, you know? Cause I still haven't been, really been going to bed on time. Like even last night I went to bed like three hours past the time I was supposed to. I have been a little bit more consistent this week, but sometimes, you know, when you have a habit for a long time, it takes a minute to, um, you know, it, it takes a while to kind of change a habit, you know? You know how, how like you, when you're changing a habit, you may do good for like two to three days, but then after three days you fall back into that habit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, but I think I am getting better. Like it is, there is progress, definitely. And I've been, um, I've definitely been going out more. I've been going shopping. I've been, you know, uh, <clears throat> going out making money. I've been doing some things to make money. Um, actually, I'm, I might be able to go out and do something today to make a little extra money. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've, I've actually have been making a lot of progress though. I'm actually still losing weight. Um, I'm actually, last time I checked, let me see, last time I checked I was 178 pounds. Now, I'm checking my weight right now. Um, I want to make sure this is right. Something is, sometimes things get, you know, adjusted. <clears throat> 175 pounds, I'm up. I'm 175 pounds right now, and it's it's funny because my goal was actually get down to like 170. Last year, I think last March of 2023, I was like 225 pounds, and I'm five foot ten. By the way, I'm five foot ten, so 225 pounds doesn't look that bad on a person who's five ten, look like a football player. But I always wanted to kind of get back to, to what I used to be when I was in my 20s. I think when I was 26 years old, I think when I was like 25, 26, I was about 170. And now I'm 175. I dropped, I was two, I, I gained a lot of weight during the pandemic. So I, I got up to 225 by 2023. And now it's 2014. I mean, I'm saying 2014. Now it's 2024. And I'm 175 pounds, so I lost uh, quite a bit of weight. In fact, I think I was like 180 earlier this year. So it like took it took like, like it took like six months to lose five pounds. So the, my weight loss has been slowing down. But I think for me, my natural weight has always been between 170 and 180. Like my my metabolism. But also, I think another reason why I'm losing weight is because like um. I had to really cut back on my spending with food. So um, I've been buying a lot of food from like Dollar Tree, like a lot of dry foods. And I've been eating very, very, um, very, very minimal meals. And what I mean by that is stuff like beans and rice with chicken. You know, I've been eating like, uh, like broccoli and broccoli and fish. You know stuff like that like i haven't really been eating uh like big meals you know because i'm trying to save money <clears throat> but hopefully if i when i get my driver's license back i'll be able to make more money and kind of start back eating more like i like i should um it's not too bad though i'm not, I'm not doing too bad uh like i said i think i'm at right now right as as of right now i think all i have to do is just put a little bit more effort and you know, I think the five things I need to do is is first, um, I've already been eating healthier, but you know, I gotta eat healthy, um, continue to keep exercising. This morning I could not exercise this morning. I'm I'm not feeling well at all. I'm not I can I can barely breathe. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to take my inhaler again soon because there's you know, I can feel the I took an inhaler about uh hmm, what is it, nine o'clock, about two hours ago. But even then, this morning, I kind of procrastinated. That's another thing I need to work on is procrastination. I think um, I need to stop, um, you know, just procrastinating so much. Kind of do things when I need to do it. Um, 
Like sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I have asthma, sometimes it'll take me up to an hour to actually take my inhaler, you know. I also have a, I also have a humidifier that I use. Um, also like to, another thing I like to do to help my asthma is I drink peppermint tea. Peppermint tea actually helps open up your airways, so. But like I said, I, I deal with procrastination a lot, so. Sometimes I'll, I'll have symptoms and it'll be almost an hour, like an hour and a half will go by before I finally take my inhaler. So I'll, it's like I allow my symptoms to get worse than it should, you know. See, I like to, I like to keep my skin um, a little bit. I like to take care of my skin the best I can, you know. Um, Especially during these months, you know. <clears throat> I remember last, actually earliest week, I went outside and I forgot to put on lotion and skin moisturizer. And like I was real ashy and dusty looking and and I don't like that. That's just, I don't like, not, I'm a person I just don't like. Uh, I'm not real big on my appearance like that. Like I don't spend a whole lot of time in the mirror and whatnot. But I just like the... You know, keep a decent appearance like keep a decent haircut you know keep a decent shape up you know i'll probably spend probably the most like five minutes in the mirror mostly but i'll just probably do a quick shape up maybe fade my hair i might fade the sides and do maybe do like a quick shave sometimes i don't even use shaving cream sometimes i just use some hot water just shave line it up a little bit and then put on some hair grease like you saw me just put some hair grease on Put on some skin moisturizer, brush it, comb it, and that's it, you know. I don't really spend a whole lot of time with it. Um, I say like maybe <clears throat> every three days, every three, four days, I might come in with my with my tea blades. So I, got my, I got these tea blades so from wall. I use these to line myself up and to do my gold tea. And I'm actually growing my beard back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to grow my beard back because I actually messed it up. I kept going down too low. So I'm trying to get it back up, up, like uh, make it look like, more like a full beard. You know, but that's it. I don't really spend a whole lot of time on my on my appearance like that. You know, just keep it, you know, just keep it lined up. Um, you know, wash my face, wash my hair, um, put on some skin moisturizer on my face, put some hair grease in, and that's it. Just like you just saw me do this now. That's pretty much all I do. And really, if you stay consistent with that, you'll actually have pretty good looking skin. Over time, as you just keep it clean, and you know, I wash my hair like every, uh, say every three days. Actually, I, actually, I kind of wash it every day, really, because when I take a shower, usually when I wash, I, I wash my hair with a rag. So I kind of, I do wash my hair every day, but as far as shampoo, I probably do like maybe like once, maybe two, once or twice a week. I wash my hair. And that's because I don't want to get lice, you know. If I wash my hair too much, I might get lice, so I try not to wash it too much. Other than that, that's all I do. But anyway, you know, like I said, the, the five things I need to work on is probably, like I said, um, like I've been eating healthier. Um, I've been exercising, even though I wasn't able to um, exercise too much this week due to my, you know, getting being sick more. Um, <coughs> um, I need to uh, get better with my sleep, my sleep habits. You know, stop staying up two, three hours past. You know, um, get more sleep. Just uh, cut back on screen time. Um, I've been trying to listen to podcasts instead of watching videos. Like I listen to a podcast in my ears, or just play the audio and not actually listen to it. Um, I'm thinking about getting that that YouTube premium so you can play videos in the background without actually have to look at the screen you know that helps cut back on screen time and just keep my faith in god you know those those five things i think and if i do those five things and stay consistent i should be able to get my license back and everything you know <clears throat> Much it, you know, there is one good uh, 
there is some good news though. Um, actually, last week actually, um, I was actually able to lower my car insurance. Uh, I'm not gonna say how much it was, but I lowered my insurance by like 40, I actually got a quote that's $40 lower, like almost $40 lower than what I'm paying now, which is pretty good since um, my finance, my financial situation has uh, gotten a little bit tighter, um, especially in the last month. In the last month, uh, my situation has gotten a little bit, my financial situation got like, well, I'll say my budget has gotten a little bit tighter, so. But overall, it's not too bad, you know, my life is not where I wanted to be still, you know, of course. You know, but hopefully everything will work out. Everything will work out. Just keep on staying consistent and I'll be good, you know. <clears throat> I have put on a little bit of muscle. You may not be able to see it, but I have put on some muscle because I have been lifting weights. I've actually started a new exercise routine where I decided to alternate between cardio and strength. So, like Mondays, cardio, Tuesday, strength, Wednesday, cardio, Thursday, strength, you know, like that alternate. I try to do five days a week, actually six days a week. Sundays I might rest, but I try to exercise six days a week. Yeah, you know, do cardio three days and strength in three, three for three days and also stretching. Um, I'm getting I'm getting a little older, so I'll, I realize that I need to stretch more. That's definitely something I need to start doing. Um, and I learned that from my dad too, because my dad, when he when he was, I say when he was like in his 40s, early like mid 40s or something like that, he started having issues with his knees. And it's funny because I'm having a little bit of problem with my knees too, especially when I squat. Let me see if it hurts. Yeah, it's still kind of, there's a little bit of pain on my right knee when I squat. It's not too bad, but I think it's a muscle issue. It came, I think it came from overuse, especially when I was uh, doing some exercise some months ago. Um, I'm about to put on some, some Calvin Klein. This is Obsession by Calvin Klein. I don't know if you guys can see it. It smells pretty good. Sometimes I like to mix it with, uh, I got, this is actually Ralph Lauren. I don't know, what, I can't remember the name, but some of you might be able to recognize this bottle. This is Ralph, Ralph Lauren. I wish I can remember the name of the, the, um, the, um, fragrance. Yeah. Sometimes mixing colognes do smell kind of good if you, if you, if you learn how to mix it right, you know, to do the right mixture, it'll smell pretty nice. I like to smell good, even though I don't really plan on going anywhere today, I might go up to the store right quick. Um, depends how I feel. <clears throat> you might notice me kind of hunching over because my breathing is a little shallow, but that's because I'm, I'm really am sick. My airways are not fully open. Um, like I said, I need to take my, I might need to take my inhaler again, but um, other than that, I'm pretty good for now. Um, you know, my eyes are not as bad. Um, yeah, I think digital eye strain is definitely an area where I need to work on. I really need to cut back on screen time. Cause I'm so used to doing, cause you know, during a pandemic, I got so used to um, looking at my screen so much a lot, you know? And I think a lot of people have, you know, we started using screen time a lot more. And, um, but I have to really learn how to cut back on screen time. I'm trying to, what I want to do is, avoid screens as much as I can to at least 5 p.m. and only limit screens to like checking emails or checking messages you know like important stuff like that other than that you know try to keep it like under five minutes at a time like look at it for five minutes check emails messages well and then get off of it and then maybe to keep myself entertained play some music or like a podcast like a talk show or something like that something that doesn't require me to look at the screen you know but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully, I will get my license back. I will. I'm just trying to put more effort, just go a little harder as far as, 
you know, just be more disciplined. That's all it really comes down to, you know. I am more disciplined than I was like a month and a half ago. I'm definitely, like I'll say, right now it's October, middle October. I say from, from middle August to now, two, like within the two months, I made a lot of progress. Like you, I, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life behind closed doors that has really, really made a lot of progress. And I'm talking about a lot of progress in just two months. So I'm trying not to beat myself up too much. But I think, um, um, I, I guess it's okay to kind of for me to slip, slip every once in a while because, like I said, these habits, these are habits I'm trying to break that I've been having for years, especially from the pandemic, you know, the sleeping habits, the um, <clears throat> sedentary, sedentary habits, the um, screen time, you know, just very simple things like that and, you know, and I'll be, I'll be doing a lot better on my feet. So I guess that's all I'm gonna say. This at 20, I didn't mean for this video to be to be this long, but I'll talk to y'all next time. And my voice is a little bit. I, I'm not speaking with a full voice, but like I said, I'm sick, so like my breathing is not very very good. So talk to y'all next time.